The fact that the universe is fine-tuned in such a way that carbon-based life emerges is, for the most part, non-controversial. I mean, people on both sides of this um, wonder why it could be so. Uh, people who are not believers in God also recognize the appearance, at least, of fine-tuning in the universe. The idea that the cosmological constants of things like weak nuclear force and strong nuclear force and electromagnetism, all of these things are, are so finely tuned to a razor's edge that there is a slight variation. The universe itself would not be able to sustain any kind of life, and yet it does. And, and so both sides are kind of looking for an explanation. Of course, from my perspective as somebody who believes in the existence of God, I think this is another evidence for God's existence because it seems that the universe does not need to be this way. It's not uh, this way because it has to be based on physical law. And, and the theorists have actually said that there are a number of ways the universe could have been uh, shaped, the way the laws could have been shaped. But in fact, they're shaped in this way, so finely tuned with just the right ingredients in the universe and just the right forces of, of laws in the universe that carbon-based life has the opportunity to emerge. Now the question is, how do we explain it? One way, of course, to explain it is to say, well, no, this is the fine-tuning of a fine-tuner. That the best way and the most reasonable explanation is that there is a God behind the fine-tuning. But of course, there's other ways to try to explain this. I, I've seen some folks, for example, try to explain it by way of a multiverse theory. Look, if there are an infinite number of universes that are they emerge from some quantum environment, well then you would expect that one of them would have the fine tuning that we see in ours. It wouldn't really be surprising at all if you have an infinite number of slight variations. One's going to look like ours. Of course, the problem with that is that if you've got an infinite number of universes and some small percentages like ours, well, a small percentage of an infinite, it means we have an infinite number of universes like ours. It becomes a bit preposterous. And in fact, one astrophysicist said that if this is true and there is a multiverse, then there are so many universes that some are going to be just like ours. As a matter of fact, if the multiverse theory is true, there is a universe in which Elvis is still alive. Well, that's a very provocative idea. And I think for me, it gets a certain level of silliness. But another complaint or another uh, um, um, explanation for this that I've heard offered is, well, look, Jim, come on, like, duh. If you happen to live in a universe in which you can make observations, well, then, then, then this is not a matter of a finely tuned universe for you. You just happen to live in the universe, so don't be surprised that it happens to be tuned in such a way that you could live in the universe. If it wasn't so, you wouldn't be here to talk about it. So it's not a matter of the universe being finely tuned for you. You actually just happen to exist in a, in a universe of this nature. I think in some ways this idea that it's just an observational phenomenon, that we just happen to be observing a universe that is as it is because we emerged in this universe to observe it, doesn't really explain, though, the fine-tuning. I've been at crime scenes in which the scene has been tampered with by an outside killer who tampered with the scene to kill the people who were in the scene. For example, in the one I'm talking about, it was a gas leak that he manufactured in order to kill two people. Now, I could have walked in and said, well, I shouldn't be surprised that there's a gas leak here with dead people and places where there are dead people who die from gas, of course you're going to find a gas leak. That doesn't explain, though, why the gas is leaking. Why the gas, why the situation was as it is. It still provokes me to have to ask the question, well, what, what would have caused this situation to be so? And I think no matter how we look at this universe in which we live, we owe it to ourselves to ask the question, why is the universe as it is? How did it get to be? tuned such as it is. And if there are many options, many uh, different possibilities, why is it that this is the one that actually produces a universe that supports people like you and me?